Hi guys, it's Black Rat from 258 and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to continue this series about what's the best legion for each season. And of course today we're going to talk about mixed legions. So before to start, I just want to say something about mixed legions. Because when you want to play a mixed legion, you really need to take into consideration that you need to have the good tech for it. Because if you only boost your cavalry, for example, and you want to play with archery or infantry in your mixed legions, Maybe it's going to be really problematic for you, your legion is going to be really weak if one of your units is really not good in technology, so really important. If you want to play mixed legions, you need to have a good tech in many units. Of course, some legions are not going to suffer that much to don't have a good tech on some specific heroes, but some of them will really have problems if you don't have a good tech for them. So. The thing that you need to really see is what you're gonna win when you're gonna mix your legions and what you're gonna lose because when you play full cavalry and your tech is full cavalry maybe it's gonna be better to play a legion with full cavalry than to try a mixed one. So it's really all it depends. Also something important is that if you want to play in mixed legions of course it's gonna be more important to have dragon gear obviously. So if you don't have Dragon Gear, you still can play Mixed Legions, of course it's not going to be that much strong, but you can mix your equipments, your six parts, for example, if you're playing a Legion with uh, Cavalry and Archery, and the Cavalry are the defensive heroes in your Legion, and uh, Archery is the attacking hero in your Legion, you can try to mix your equipment and put the ones who gives you the attack, you can put those equipments in your set, and the ones for, I mean, the ones for attack, you put the archery. And for example, if you have defensive heroes in your set who are uh, cavalry, you put the defensive items in your set. But it's still not going to be that great. You really need to have the dragon gear. It's really the most important here. So let's jump on the board and let's start. So for the season one, no secret, there's really nothing who's gonna work in the Mixed Legion. Also, Season 2, there's really nothing. So we're gonna start with S3. And S3, the first Legion, it's gonna be Rosen, Edward, and Alpha T. So why this Legion is interesting? Well, Rosen, of course, works well with Alpha T because she's gonna boost the normal attacks from Alpha T because Alpha T works really well with normal attacks. And what's important with Edward? Edward in this Legion gonna be super important because he gonna put dodging so you can dodge the, the attacks of the enemy. He debuffs in the first rounds, he suppress, and then he put more damage on your on the allies after three rounds. So what's important to understand here? This Legion actually is really good. It's really doing good to counter the BRI, the Beast Queen, uh, Rosen and Immortal, because those this Legion re tons of damage in the first rounds, the three first rounds. So the Edward with the dodging, the suppressing and the debuffs in the first rounds is gonna be super important to reduce the damage of the BRI and if you really survive to the three rounds your legion I mean the Edward gonna boost the damage of your allies of course for it's gonna be more for Alpha T and Alpha T gonna do still good damage after those three rounds so it's gonna be interesting to fight against the BR so good legion for that but the problem is that it's gonna be super hard to have dragon gear at S3 I don't even know if it's possible actually so Still nice to know, so as I say earlier, if you don't have Dragon Gear, you can see here that the damage here are going to be Alpha T. So all the things that going to boost your attack on your set, you're going to put the Archery one. But the things going to boost the defense, you're going to put the Cavalry one. So that's exactly what I was explaining in the beginning. So let's go to S4. And S4 is going to be also the same Legion. There's other mixed legions actually really interesting also in this season. It's Rosen, Black Prince, and Jade. 
And also another one, it's gonna be the Brave, Bleeding Steed and Jade. Those legions also were doing really good in S4, so important to know. Let's for so let's go for SX1. So SX1 we have Rosen, Alpha T, and Sakura. So this is typically a glass cannon legion like BRI. So Sakura gonna of course boost the damage in the three rounds. Rosen also gonna boost the alpha t as we say earlier the the normal attack so this legion gonna do tons of damage because the alpha t gonna do tons of damage in the three rounds so really strong legion really interesting legion and uh, in sx1 the people start to get dragon gear so it's a really interesting legion if you have dragon gear to play it's gonna do really tons of damage and also it's gonna do really well against the bri so let's continue with, with SX2. So SX2 we have the same legion again and SX3 now we have Rosen, Spectral Reaper and Sakura. It's exactly the same as the the last legion that we talked. Exactly the same principle but we replace Alpha T with Spectral Reaper because Spectral Reaper it's of course really better than Alpha T just like this he's just better so you just replace him and you will see this legion gonna be super important and actually this legion was really one of my main favorites in all the game because I played this legion so long and it was really destroying everyone I really loved this legion and actually my archery was not that much boost and I was still doing tons of damage and win winning a lot of battles even if my my technology was more cavalry I was really doing really good with this legion, so I love this legion. I really love this legion. So let's continue with SX4. No surprise, it's still the same. SX5, still the same. SX6, again, the same legion. I just want to mention one legion also really interesting in SX6. It's gonna be Lowman, Bleeding Steed, and Warhammer. This legion is an absolutely beast legion for defensive because this legion is really doing tons of counter damage, healing and the confusion from Bleeding Sting gonna be super important. So this legion gonna be used until SX15. So until now we still use this legion to defend we use it a lot as a defensive legion on the castle, you know the five, the, the fifth legion that you can get to defense. This legion is going to be super strong and going to still be countering a lot of combos in SX-15, so super important legion to get. So let's continue with SX-7 and it's again the same legion dominating the meta. Now SX-8 Again, the same. So as I said, this legion gonna stay for really long and she's gonna really hurt, really hurt. So let's go. SX9. And now we have a little change. So SX9, it's gonna be Pjorn, Black Prince and Lilith. This legion works really well because actually the Lilith, she do more damages on the, the enemies when he's silence, disarm, suppress and confuse. And the thing is that Bjorn also increased the damage of the allies on the silence, disarm, suppress and confuse. So also which is interesting to know is that Bjorn do confuse and Black Prince do silence disarm and suppress and also Lilith do confuse so they all apply those statues to the enemy and the Bjorn gonna increase the damage of the allies on the people the, the enemies who's gonna get those statues and of course Lily gonna do more damage on the enemies who already have this statue so it's gonna boost a lot really a lot the damage of Lilith and all those statues gonna really be annoying for the enemy uh, if you have enemies like um, legions who have tons of damage 
they're going to be silent, suppressed, confused. It's going to be super annoying for them if they can't do their damage in the first rounds. So this is really going to be super strong against those those glass cannon legions. So really nice legion to play. It's going to be really strong. So SX9 also have another legion that I actually want to talk because I actually was playing this legion more. It's going to be Bleeding Steed, Warhammer and Lilith. So Bleeding Steed and Lilith also works good because Bleeding Steed do confusion. So as I, we say earlier, it's going to boost damage of Lilith. Lilith also have confusion and Warhammer is a big defensive hero and also who do really nice damage. So this Legion, it's like, um, she's going to be doing also really great against full damage, uh, full damage Legions, but she's going to do really great against a lot of type of different Legions. So I really love to play this Legion also. So really important to mention. So let's continue with SX-10. And SX-10, we have a change now. We have Bleeding Steed, Poison Master, and Lilith. So it's going to be a little bit the same. Bleeding Steed works nicely with Lilith because he do confusion. So of course he also do healing. But what is important in this is that he do confusion. So he's going to increase the damage of Lilith. And also what is really important is that Lilith and Poison Master really works well together. Because the Lilith also apply poison like Poison Master. And it's going to increase all the effects that Poison Master can apply because he have some uh, uh, reducing healing effects and I guess he removed some armor or something like this so it's gonna boost all those effects for Poison Master so that's why this Legion works also really well. So let's continue. SX-11 it's gonna be the same Legion. Now SX-12 and now we have a change and now we have the Seed the Hellfire and Lilith. I'm gonna be super honest with you guys. I really don't know why this Legion is working actually. And sometimes it's like this. There's some heroes, they are good. You put them together and it works. It's kind of weird, but I still didn't understood why this Legion works so well, but it was really having good results. So I really can't explain why. Those heroes are good, but why they are working together, I really don't know. So if you, there's someone who can explain me this, I would love that you guys can explain down in the comments why this Legion is working so well, because I don't understand why. Really, I don't understand why. So let's continue. SX-13, and it's gonna be the same Legion. And SX-14 now. We're going to have the Hunk, Sakura and Esofre. So, what this Legion is important to know. Of course, Esofre, big, big, big damage dealer. She do tons of damage. It's her job. Sakura, of course, going to boost the, um, the damage of Esofre in the first rounds, the three first rounds. So, it's going to do tons of damage. And the Hunk, the Hunk is going to be important well, the Hunk do a lot of things. It's really a nice hero. He's a good, really good defensive hero. And he have really nice buffs. But for this Legion, what is really important is that Hunk gonna increase the speed. The speed of the Legions. And Esofred have a skill who's gonna increase her damage if she is the faster to hit. So that's why the Hunk gonna be important in this uh, Legion. Because he's gonna boost the speed. And it makes Esafra to be more speed and hit first. And if she hits first, she's going to do more damage. So that's why the Hunk is there. And it's going to be super important in this region. So this region really do tons of damage. Really tons of damage. Really strong region. So now let's go to SX-15. And now we have the Hunk, the Warden, and Sandiata. So... Sandiata, it's a little bit same, strong damage dealer and Warden gonna work extremely well with him because Warden gonna boost the damage attacks, he's gonna make the, the back row to do more damage attacks and uh, of course it's gonna work 
perfectly well with Sendiata. So Warden and Sendiata are really working together. They are the best friends, you need to put them together. And then we put the Hunk on the front row, also for the same things, just because Hunk is a really good hero, he have a really strong defensive buffs and also damage buffs. He have evasion, who, thinks, who can make you avoid the damage of the enemy, so it's just a super good hero. I know that some people actually don't put this Legion in the top one rank, because there's another one also really strong. It's gonna be, instead of putting um, the Hunk, you can put the Rosen. Actually also pretty strong, the Rosen and the uh, Warden Sendiata. But it's gonna be a kind of different Legion. It's gonna be a Glass Cannon Legion. If you put it like this, they're gonna have really strong, strong damage in the three first rounds to destroy the enemy fast. But then it's gonna be weaker. And for me, I really tested it a lot in fights and I had more best results with Hunk. I think it's really more consistent against different type of legions. Because for example, if you put uh, the Brave, the Seed Avalanche against Rosen and Warden and Sandiata, the Seed gonna really destroy easily this legion. But if you put it, the Seed Legion, the Seed Combo against Hunk, and Sandiata uh, and Warden, it's gonna be really different. The, it's gonna be more difficult for Seed to win. Actually, Sandiata win limit more than Seed gonna win. So I really prefer the Hunk, Warden, Sandiata than the Rosen, uh, the Hunk, Warden, Sandiata more than the Rosen and the Warden, Sandiata. So for me, I put it in rank 1. It's really a strong legion and I am really using it a lot right now. So we finished the board. Really nice. We can see. So some heroes really come a lot of times and actually some of the heroes here, you're not gonna see them on the other list because they don't pair that much. For example, Lilith, you don't see it a lot in the best ranks of Oshery, but she works really nicely on the mixed legions actually. So Mixed Legions, super important. If you have good tech for it, go for it. If you really boosted all techs, it's gonna be super nice to play Mixed Legions. They can have some benefits that you can't find with Legions with the same units. So that's it for today. We finished the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I really enjoyed to do all the researches and tests to do those boards, of course. It's my personal opinion from what I saw and also what I saw in the forums. And I, I talked with many people, friends in the game. So it's kind of my experience, what I'm showing here. Of course, I'm not gonna be doing, giving you the best of the best informations, of course. So I can miss some little things. I tried to do my best. I hope you guys really enjoy. And maybe for the next CD like this, we're gonna do probably like a ranking for each season, what hero is the best ranked. I think we're gonna do something like this. So I hope you guys will stay and enjoy what we're doing here in the channel. And I see you soon. Peace out.